We're going to take a look at the transform tool in Photoshop CC 2019. Let's get to it. Hey guys, Rob Alden here, IMX Productions. Welcome to another tutorial from IMX Video and Design. And today we're taking a look at the transform tool, the free transform tool in Photoshop and specifically uh, what's changed in 2019 version of Photoshop. Not too much has changed. There's one annoying little change they made, which uh, you're probably already familiar with if you're familiar with Photoshop that will take some getting used to. It's really not a big deal, but it just takes some getting used to. Um, but we're going to go through the tool and all it, the nuances and whatnot. Okay, so let's dive right in. So here we have an image and I just pasted my little, uh, my this is kind of the placeholder that I use for a lot of uh, mock-ups that I make. You can actually download that from the website if you click on the link. And okay, so let's take a look. So right away, uh, if you want to use the transform tool, come up here to uh, edit and free transform. And you'll see immediately get these, these uh, little points here, these eight little uh, transform points. Um, and you can just double click to get out of it. Now, if you are like me and you like to use uh, um, short keys, simply click Command or Control T and you automatically get those points. So right off the bat, what can you do with the transform tool? Now, here's the, the nuance I was talking about, that one difference that they made in 2019. Um, usually when you would simply drag those corner points, it would be a non-proportionate um, scale. Usually when you drag those points, it would be a non-proportionate scale. What they've done now is when you are simply doing a scale, now it's proportionate. See, I, I, it keeps its proportions as I scale. If I want to do a non-proportional scale, so if I want to kind of stretch it uh, sideways or lengthwise, um, now I have to hold down the shift key and now I can do this non-proportional scale this way. Okay, um, not a huge difference. Before it was just the opposite. Uh, when you were not holding any keys and doing a free transform, free scale, it would be non-proportionate. And if you want it to be proportionate, you had to hold down the shift key. So that's the only real difference. It was really, a, really annoying at first because I'm so used to doing this. Um, uh, I've been working with 2019 for a couple months now and I'm still, I'm still hitting that by mistake, but that's pretty much the only nuance there. Okay, so by default, we're scaling. I guess they said, like I said, if you want to scale proportionately or disproportionately, hold down the shift key. Um, what else do we've got? Now, you'll notice when we're on those points, we get the scale. If we move away from one of those the corner points, we get that little circular icon, which is the rotate. So I can rotate uh, my, the, my object from here. And we can, all these points are basically just scaling, of course, unless you hold down shift. Now, if we right click, we get a whole lot of other options. So we're on free transform. That's what we're by on by default. If I hit scale, it's the same thing. I'm just not going to get that uh, rotate option. So it's going to be purely doing a scale and at the same and the same way that if I click on rotate, now I'm purely getting rotate uh, functions, no scale functions. Skew is going to skew like this. So if you hit grab these corner corner pins, I can skew the image. Honestly, I don't use skew all that often, and you can go side to side. It You might find some use for it. I don't use skew that often. Um, another thing I forgot to mention is as we're scaling, let's undo some of this transform here. Another thing, so I mentioned if we hold down shift, we get our disproportionate that way. If we hold down, normally we're always skewing from one point. If we hold down option, or sorry, if we hold down option, we're scaling towards the center. And if you hold option and shift, we're scaling towards the center disproportionately. So we can do this kind of funky wavy thing going on here. Okay, so here's, so we're gonna paste in and hit command control T to get your transform again. Now let's hold uh, option and let's scale it down, center it on the book and just rotate a little bit. Now, right click again, we're gonna to go to distort. So what distort does, and this is very useful whenever I'm creating mockups, is I can grab these corner points and I can drag them to the corners. Let's zoom in a little bit. Now, obviously I would do a much better job, make sure that I'm really grabbing the corners. This book too is not really proportioned to my little mockup orange grid file here, so it's gonna stretch it out slightly. 
but you get the idea. Now, if you did actually did put on a quick uh, a trans transfer mode to darken, or sorry, multiply, so you're going to actually get that fold in there. It actually looks pretty convincing just doing that. Uh, I would, if I was making a real mock-up, obviously I'd get a better proportion image, but uh, pretty easy. So that's your... Um, that's your distort. Now, quick function I can, quick little note I can add in here. Whenever you're doing this, especially if you're doing a mock-up, if you want to rotate, if you want to uh, distort and do all these things, ne do not click out of the transform. So double click to get out of the tr free transform. Don't do that until you're absolutely done because you can't go back. If you go back here, if I hit command control T again, notice now my corner points are no longer in the corners. It always creates a rectangle around your image for free transform. So this is no longer my corner. This is my corner over here. So, you know, if you wanted to, 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 to alter this another time, let's say I wanted to put it over this little object here, I'd have to start again. I wouldn't be able to take this object. Okay, so quick note. Now we're going to go on to another photo. So here's a photo of a, um, of a woman here. Now let's do this t-shirt. So I'm going to paste one more time. Hit Command and Control T. Uh, option because I want to center proportionate scale. There we go. And let's zoom in a little bit. Now, one more time, I'm rotating, I'm placing it here. I'm going to do a quick distort just like we did before and try to get the corners here. Okay, and then let's go down to warp where I'll take a look at perspective perspective is not one that I use very often but let's go to warp now warp gives you a grid here with multiple points and these little lines and I can actually take those lines and drag and conform my image much 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 in much more detail like that so I use this again I use this um, for a lot of for a lot of mock-ups that I make where there's going to be, I, distort is not enough. There's Whenever there's curvature, distort is not going to cut it. Use uh, warp to add some curvature to your design. Okay, double click once you're happy with the, double click once you're happy with the warp that we just did. And we can quickly turn that to a multiply so we get that the shading coming through. Uh, not too bad. I've actually created a, uh, a mock-up specifically uh, for this image, you can click here and uh, go download that on my website. And what else? Can we just go back over here, go back to the original image, and look at a few other options. So, as I mentioned, a perspective perspective will allow you to kind of do these well perspective drags, uh, such as this. Again, this is not one I use very often. You may f find it useful if you're doing. I'm not sure what, but uh, you may find some use for it. And lastly, rotate if you wanted to do rotate 180 degrees when it, um, you know, it'll rotate for you. And you can also do flip. So flip horizontal will and flip vertical. And if I do 180, I'm back here. Okay. And that's basically all the cool stuff that we can do with the transform tool that you will be using. Um, those are the main, the main reasons. So often in my tutorials, you'll notice, I'll just say, okay, uh, scale it down. And I, I kind of, uh, I'm quick in my, <laughs> if you haven't noticed yet, I'm pretty fast in my tutorials. So often I will just say something like, okay, transform, uh, hit command and control, hit a command and control T transform and scale this down. So hopefully this gives you a better idea of what the free transform tool is, what you can do with it. Um, and hopefully it allows you to be more creative in your Photoshopping. Okay. Hope you enjoy this tutorial guys. Don't forget to uh, click the link below. There'll be some of the stuff I discussed. Some of the templates I've made will be in a blog post. So click that link below. It'll lead you to the website and uh, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, make sure you're notified whenever we, uh, create new content and leave a comment please let me know what did, did you like this tutorial what else would you like to see what other tutorials would you like to see in the future and we will see you next time cheers